Hello guys, with the new artifacts your Octopus and Sea Dragon can work for times in the Arctic Clash, and as you know, most damage you do in the last rounds, so maybe it is better to use Magikin instead of Demeter? In this video I will show you if Magikin is actually better than Demeter, tell all advantages and disadvantages of using it, and what equipments artifacts will improve your results. As you know, we have artifacts that can make your results much better, and one of them is Dragonfriend Necklace, which besides increasing damage has very useful skill. All pet skills get minus 5 cooldown time. That means when you activate this artifact this turn, on the next turn all your pets will be active. As a result, you can have Octopus Shield and Ice Wall for the first time in the Hardy Clash. After playing a few times, I noticed that I had a full health for 2 rounds after Hydra's Age. And as you know, most damage you do in the last rounds, so I thought about Magic Queen, it gives plus 100% damage to Special Ball when your health is full. That all sounds great, and in theory you must do higher damage, but it's not so perfect as it sounds. When I changed my Demeter in, my attack became lower. By the way, in one of my videos I showed that Brave One does higher damage than Poseidon having the same quality level and explained how it is possible. Who watched that video, then you know that sacrificing some attack paid off and my average damage became higher. The link on this video I'll leave in description and comments, in case you haven't seen it yet. So, I did some calculations and I found out my damage from for example Fireballs using Brave One and Demeter in is 225,000. And by using Ray Wand with Magic Queen, taking into account its skill is 278,000 damage. Who doesn't know, Fireball does 2x damage over your normal balls. I tested both combinations a few times, and the results with Magic Queen were impressive, sometimes even worse. So what happened in runs? In theory, it sounded great. Guys, don't close this video yet because I changed something and the results became better. Some results were worse because Magic Queen gives 100% only to special balls and it gives when your health is full. Plus the difference is not very high, so during a battle in some runs, I had better results with Demeter in. So I came up to Poseidon Wand, because it gives higher attack. I calculated again and got 325,000 damage for Fireballs, which as you can see is much higher than using Brave Wand with Magic or Brave Wand with Demeter in. In game it showed itself good, results were better, but another problem appeared. Now it is harder to survive without dying, so some results may not be good. Demeterine gives more normal balls and you have a higher chance to kill mobs. As you don't use it, you receive higher damage from mobs. Don't worry guys, I have a solution for this problem. Use Vertigon Shield as a third artifact. Vertigon Shield will save you for 3 rounds and who is worrying about healing and dodge, don't worry, healing and dodge is working when you use Vertigon Shield. Of course, you will play without it and use for example Warhorn, but you will have lower chance to survive till Hydra's Rage. By the way guys, I noticed that many of you stop passing stages, like forever, I saw players that have stats a little lower than I have, and they at stage 50, 60. Do not do this guys, you lose many gems by doing it, I'm not even talking about coins. I pushed myself further and passed 129 stages. I pass a daily challenge every day and they are not very hard, for passing it I get 330 gems. Those who stay at low stages get less gems, coins and scrolls for events. You see? If you will stop passing stages to have easier events, instead of making your progress faster, you do vice versa. You earn less scrolls, coins, gems, and as a result your equipments have low level. Just try to pass a few stages and see if you are still able to pass a daily challenge on easy. Ok, back to Magic Queen. With Magic Queen you can have impressive results, but you need to use it with Poseidon Wand to do higher damage, because with Brave Wand your damage will be lower as you lower your attack too much. Use Varigon Shield, which gives you a shield for 3 rounds, so you will definitely survive over 15 rounds. Other equipments, artifacts, and pets stay the same. Comparing previous setup to new, using Magic Queen I have better average result, but it is harder to survive. So, guys, just try new setup for a few times and you'll see which of them is better for you. If you try it only for one time, then you may not have better results, because here you should use a different tactic, if with Demeterian it was easier to survive and kill mobs, then with magic it is a little harder, but results are better. As always you must choose between gears that give you more stable results, or use to new that can give you better results. So guys, now you know which equipments and artifacts are better to choose for magic in to have impressive results. I hope that you will be comfortable with Magic Queen and your damage will be higher. In case if you won't be comfortable with Magic Queen and your average damage won't be higher, then use previous setup. I know that it's kinda hard to play with Magic Queen, but it is worth to try. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.